guys, it's Femi and welcome back to our channel. We decided to uh, have a weekend away in the Berg. Um, so we on our way from Johannesburg. Uh, we left around um, just after nine and it's about midday here. As you can see, it's beautiful. Um, we stopped at Bergview. It's a, um, a fuel station stop and there's loads of restaurants and stuff here. We stop here often on our way to Durban. So for some of you, it will be uh, a place that you know um, so we just getting some lunch and then before we head to our destination um, so for our accommodation for the weekend we're going to stop at um, Staffontein Dam um, after lunch and then gonna head off to our accommodation I uh, hope you're having a super time and stay tuned to see what we got up to this weekend we're also hoping to um, do a hike so we're really looking forward to um, getting through to some of the hiking spots this weekend so I hope it's going to be a fun full weekend and I hope the weather holds up it is the Berg um, and it is unpredictable but let's hope for the best hello guys so we just stopped at the viewpoint uh, for Starfontein Dam it is on the R74 um, if you keep driving you'll pass the Starfontein gate which seems to be closed and a few kilometers later you will stop by the viewpoint the views here are really really breathtaking I definitely recommend that you stop the weekend. Can't wait to see what this is like. Hey guys, welcome to our little cottage for the weekend. We're in Tula number four at Berghaus and Cottages. Um, and I'm definitely gonna give you a room tour. But it's so pretty. It's like a little house. Uh, has a little like kitchenette area, a separate bathroom and a bedroom. Um, and we're just gonna get settled and we'll show you around how's this cottage guys so there's a little lounge area here and this is our sleeping area and there's a lovely dresser to get ready and we take you into the bathroom so there is a double shower and sink even a nice little chair to keep your clothes if you need to change. This is a cool kitchenette area. There's cutlery and some water. I think there's some coffee in here as well as some tea bags and sugar. Um, and there's a coffee machine, a kettle and toaster, microwave and a fridge. So this is the beautiful cottage and this is the outside area and the view. So we just checked into our cottage and we all settled. It, gosh I can't even explain, this view behind me is just amazing. Our cottage is so cute, I mean everything in one house. And our chicken was completely contactless so they leave your key on um, the cottage door and you let yourself in and whilst you're staying there isn't any housekeeping so you can be assured that um, it is safe um, and you also get to get a key so you enter and exit um, 
whenever you want to and on exit you get a code so you can leave your key behind so completely contactless when you're leaving as well we're here for the next three nights so we just got here and we're gonna take a walk and just show you around later today and we're hoping um, to maybe go on a few hikes so we'll show you a bit of the hikes and stuff and um, yeah but the views are amazing we're just so happy to be out here um, exploring South Africa and seeing that the best uh, seeing the best that South Africa has to offer uh, you know you're in awe every time you leave home and you go to a new destination and you just get so surprised about how amazing our country is um, I don't know about you but we certainly do um, and this is just another example of that um, the views are absolutely amazing I'm not sure if you can see um, behind me So our dinner was just brought to our unit. We got chicken pie, some bread, carrots, a full salad, and cheesecake for dessert. It looks so amazing. We can't wait to enjoy this beautiful view and this lovely food. This is our breakfast delivered to our cottage this morning. We got some eggs, um, there's fruit skewers, some toast, uh, juice, uh, cereal, some milk. So really lovely breakfast for two. Our first morning here. Um, this morning it was covered in fog. You couldn't see a thing, or at least now you can see a few meters ahead of us and but it's so peaceful it's so good morning so the weather cleared and we decided to take a hike um, in the Berghaus and Cottages uh, area so they have a number of trails and we just going to um, follow some of these and then see where we end up We had such an incredible day um, we did the Ilan trail and it took us uh, about one and a half hours we also stopped for photos and snacks and everything so we just had such a wonderful afternoon swim the views at the pool are just incredible I don't know if you can see like the pool behind me and the view behind me but um, it's not an infinity pool per se but it just overlooks the most amazing view um, we had the pool all to ourselves so that was really cool and we are going to get changed soon because um, dinner is served around 6 30 hey guys it's dinner time already so what we have today is some bread to start we've got some bubati, um, got some rice sides of veggies and lovely milk tart for dessert and this incredible view it's the second day of breakfast and today we have like these phyllo egg cups mushrooms some fruit um, breads and cake cereal some milk and orange juice and some yogurt Good morning guys, so we decided to take a visit to the Royal National Park this morning. Uh, it is a glorious day in the Berg, so we're looking forward to maybe doing a few hikes. Um, we'll see how far we go, maybe we're being too ambitious, um, but we're really excited. We've never been to the Royal National Park before and we're really keen to show you guys um, a little bit of the park and give you some more info and details. Hey guys, 
we're coming to the end of our stay at Berghaus Cottages. It's been absolutely fabulous. The view is priceless here and the food was really amazing. It all makes you feel at home, like you're living on a farm. So it's really, really amazing. Um, so I just wanted to tell you a little bit about how we prepared for our stay here. So you can take the dinner bit um, and breakfast option. Um, dinner comes through every day around 6.30 and you get um, some bread to start and you get a main meal and a dessert and you also get side vegetables. So that happens every night for dinner. And then for breakfast, it's mostly eggs every day. Um, we had like eggs and sausages and eggs with uh, mushrooms, eggs with aubergines. Um, so every day, um, we had eggs and stuff the unit does come with a microwave a toaster a kettle and a coffee maker so if you want and you're only staying a few days then you may want to bring some uh, cooked or prepared food from home um, so we were thinking that um, because we don't eat pork we could have like made some stuff at home that we needed for breakfast and then supplemented that with the breakfast that we have here um, so the other thing that I wanted to advise you on if you're coming to Burkhouse that you need to prepare for is um, there is no TV here. Um, so I think you may want to bring some board games um, and if you have children then you may want to bring some things that may entertain them. There is a pool however and there are some ponies and horses and stuff. Um, but I, I don't think you can really ride the ponies. I think there is horse riding though. Um, so that can keep one um, entertained. There's also fly fishing. So if anybody is into that, you can also do that here. Um, and you can also do hiking and mountain biking on the property. Um, what else I would prepare for if I'm coming to Berghaus, I think. Um, we brought in some prepared food because lunch, um, they don't serve lunch at the property. So we just grabbed some of those Woolies prepared foods. Um, we had butter chicken and mac and cheese and stuff. So that was really cool. And also if you're not keen on cooking on your holiday or you're not staying at a unit that has a stove, that's a great option. So another thing that you can do is also bring your own drinks. Uh, we brought a whole lot of juice and water and cold drinks and stuff. There is a bar fridge, so there's enough space to stock all of that. We also brought some extra goodies for breakfast and um, we brought uh, some uh, chips and uh, chocolates and snacks so that we had enough food whilst we are here. There's hardly any shops nearby, so please do bring whatever you need.